Hello everyone and welcome back to the Progressing Recruiters Lives Everywhere podcast. I'm Veronica, your host for today's episode, and we've got a fantastic topic uh, on the table today. Joining me is my colleague Isabel, uh, working together with me as a talent attraction consultant. And as talent attraction consultant, it is our daily task to match candidates with their perfect role in recruitment. So I'm very excited to share our insights on this podcast episode with you today. Isabel, welcome. Thank you, Veronica. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be here and um, excited to explore the different types of roles within the world of recruitment and um, yeah, try to help our listeners find their ideal match. Happy to have you on board. And I would actually like to start with the basics. So in your experience, what are the key differences between a 360 degree recruiter and a 180 degree recruiter? So can you walk us a little bit through the distinct focuses of each different role? I would say the one major difference is that a 360 degree recruiter has to work on two different fronts, working on the one hand with clients and on the other hand with candidates whereas a 180 degree recruiter only works with candidates. So basically what the 360 degree recruiter would do is um, find their own specific uh, business niche and be um, in charge of finding businesses that uh, are active in, in this specific industry or field. And these businesses usually will need people who will join them in several projects or different types of jobs. So what the 360 degree recruiter needs to do now is find candidates who are professionals from that specific industry. The 180 degree recruiter on the other side would only be candidate facing. So it's a person that is in touch with candidates of their specific niche and basically helps them find new jobs, um, find new projects, but without taking care of the client side. Thank you so much for that explanation, Isabel. Now that we have a clearer picture on the topic, let's discuss the different personalities that might thrive in each different role. In your experience, what character traits or preferences, for example, make someone well-suited for a 360-degree role position? And of course, on the other side, what characteristics or personality traits are more relatable to 180-degree recruiting? That's actually quite a good question, because I think that the personality traits for these two roles are pretty different. I would say for a 360 role, people need to be quite open, energetic, a little bit more on the extroverted side, and really, yeah, not scared to pick up the phone, talk to people, good at handling rejection as well, because a lot of times they will talk to people who are not expecting uh, their calls right now. So it needs to be someone who's overall quite energetic and um, yeah, strong-minded. On the other hand, with a 180-degree role, I would say it's fine if the people are a bit more calm and quite organized. It re requires a lot of um, conversations, a lot of finding out what the candidates have done, what they are looking for, also gathering information that can be useful for the 180 degree role overall. I think those would be the main differences. I don't know if you have anything to add to that. These are really good points that I mentioned. Um, indeed, somebody who thrives and builds a successful career within 360 recruitment is, as you mentioned, outgoing, um, quite talkative person who is definitely not scared to take upon new challenges and, and who's really, um, simply put, not scared of a challenge because it could be challenging to pick up the phone and speak to a COO or a manager that perhaps you've never met in your life. Um, so being outside of the box, simply put, uh, and having this outgoing personality is definitely helpful within that role. Um, and indeed, 180 recruitment, uh, in my experience as well, is really somebody who wants to uh, end build relationships with a candidate who is a little bit more on the data collective side um, and really looks to um, yeah, foster relationship with the, with, with the candidate side, simply put. But I do believe that having a combination from those two different personalities or traits in this case would make you definitely a successful 360 recruitment consultant when you also need to take care of recruiting your own candidates for your clients' uh, business opportunities. I definitely agree with that. In the end, for both positions, you need to be good in fostering relationships, taking care of the existing relationships and also working on new ones. 
So yeah, in order to be a successful 360 recruiter, you need to be both um, organized, but also quite outgoing and um, yeah, energetic in that sense. And now coming to a third and different recruitment role, talent attraction, what would you say are the key differences of talent attraction compared to 180 or 360 recruitment as described previously? I think a lot of people know talent attraction as well under the name of maybe corporate recruitment. And um, what sets apart talent attraction from 180 and 360 is that in 180 and 360 roles, you recruit candidates for external positions. They're not going to be working in the same business as you. Whereas when you do talent attraction, you recruit your own colleagues. So often you will um, recruit for all types of roles within one business and um, take care of finding the right fit for your company and actually have the person joining you and probably being your colleague for the, the time being. And um, yeah, how would you describe your day-to-day activities working within uh, Talent Attraction and the Moria Group? I would say it's also a job that requires a lot of organization and uh, proper time management because it requires, on the one hand, uh, finding candidates for the roles. Specifically at the Moria Bond, we usually look for the same few roles most of the time. And then uh, when we have a specific need in a department, we also add a new role that we might not always be looking for. So usually you would have to look for candidates, qualify them, organize conversations with them. Afterwards as well, consider which team they would be a fit for, help them find out what the right role would be for them, if they would be more interested in something like 180 or 360. And then, of course, uh, be in touch with managers, uh, present them profiles, consult them on what their current needs are, and organize the, the next steps for the interview process between our candidate and um, our managers. And um, the last step of a regular recruitment process would be that if the person has conversations, has all the steps of the recruitment process with us and ends up joining us, um, also take care that they are onboarded properly in the beginning and um, try to, to make them feel comfortable, especially in the first days, in the first weeks, helping them with everything they might need. So it's all about the relationship building, understanding the needs on both sides and being there partner in crime, helping them through the process, but also engaging in their first or elevating their career within the Moria group, which, yeah, totally sums up the, the position in this case. I agree. And of course, Isabel, um, I have a question for you. You've been quite successful in the role of talent attraction. You're a great addition to the Amsterdam team. I was just curious, how did you determine which part was right fit for you and what advice would you offer to our listeners who are contemplating their own career choices within the field of recruitment? That's a great question as well. In my case, I actually started off in talent attraction before joining Amoria Bond and it's because I studied psychology and I, of course, in psychology, you have a lot of different ways in which you can specialize. And I decided that I found uh, work in organizational psychology quite interesting. So I went into a TA role in a different company and I quite enjoyed it. It was an internship for about six months. And once that came to an end, um, I was actually approached by one of our TA colleagues um, at Amoria Bond. And they suggested the 360 role to me and I had a few conversations with them and I realized that 360 isn't really my cup of tea. 360 is really a sales role. You have to constantly talk to people. You have to find your own leads and um, yeah, always talking to, to all different types of managers, candidates who are not really expecting uh, the conversations with you. And that just wasn't much of my interest. I am more interested in talking to people who um, I can establish longer lasting relationships with, people that um, I can help with finding the right choice for them. And yeah, because I had a little bit of experience in that field, I felt like um, keeping uh, developing myself in TA was the, the right fit for myself. Yeah, I understand. And because you have a background in psychology, uh, a lot of our colleagues within the business also come from a background in psychology. Um, Do you think your studies actually help you in your day-to-day job? 
and make an impact to well to your day to day activities and the conversations you're having. I feel like people who have studied psychology and decided to go for a direction in social organizational work psychology probably have a underlying interest in combining the work environment with with overall well-being in the workplace. So I think um, the different roles in recruitment could be interesting for someone with that background. Of course, I think it's really important to clarify uh, what the person is looking for. A lot of people who come from a background in psychology want to help others and want to help them make the right choice, find the right fit for them. And people who are interested in that would probably be a very good fit for something related to talent attraction or corporate recruitment, but maybe not the best fit for a role in 360 degree recruitment because that is just a bit more fast paced and not as focused on long lasting relationships. Thank you so much, Isabel, for your insights. Uh, And thanks to our listeners for tuning in for this episode, exploring these different exciting uh, excitement recruitment roles. We hope you found it valuable um, and helpful for your uh, guidance to your career choices. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe for more insights regarding recruitment um, and the exciting world in Amoria Group. Whether you're 180, 360 or talent attraction enthusiast, may your recruitment journey be fulfilling and you build a rewarding uh, and exciting career within the sector. Thank you.